What's up, YouTubers and YouTubettes? So, today I'm gonna be making chloroform because I need it to, for other reaction I'm doing. And so, there's two ways to make chloroform. Um, well, two ways this route, anyways. Um, and so, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna take chlorine, which is just this stuff here, normal household bleach, and um, I'm gonna be mixing it with MEK, and so that's uh, methyl ethyl ketone. And the other way is to mix it with acetone. And so now, in here, I've got my um, chlorine, and it's sitting in this tub here, and then this is just water and ice to keep it cool, because this reaction is very exothermic. And so now, what we're gonna be doing is putting about 75 milliliters of MEK into this container, and, uh, I also have a stir bar going in here right now too. And so but I'm gonna put about 75 milliliters of MK in there and then um, the the chlorine in here will change colors. It'll almost go clear and then it'll darken up. And so um, after I put the 75 milliliters in, if it doesn't clear up, I don't know, within a couple minutes or whatever, I'm going to slowly start adding more in little increments. Actually, I should probably put in 50 milliliters and then start adding smaller increments at that point. And that's what I'm really going to do. And so um, I'll go ahead and put 50 milliliters in. And actually, see, I've got 75 measured out here, so I'll just guess 50 of it. Now, something that a lot of the people that make chloroform, they're missed saying this one thing. And so if you take nothing from this, except for this one thing, let it be this. So if your reaction gets too warm, you will get basically nothing back from it. And so um, if you add too much of your MEK or your acetone and it gets too warm, you'll get no chloroform or very little. And so, Keeping it cool is highly important. And so, anyways, it, I got it spinning away right now. And um, when it starts changing colors and it goes clear, then it'll start gaining its color back. And at that point, I'm going to turn the spinning off and just let it set for a few hours or so. And um, the chloroform, it might the liquid in here, in the chlorine may look hazy or whatever, and that's your chloroform and little tiny molecules floating all around in the chloroform, and so in the waiting process that allows it to settle out to the bottom because the chloroform will be the heaviest thing in this solution, and so um, knowing that that's just where you'll find it, and so if it hasn't settled out yet. Either one, it got, your reaction got too hot, or two, you haven't waited long enough for it to settle out. Alright, I'm gonna add the rest of this. So now, the other way you can do this is just by adding your MEK directly into your bottle. Um, but I'm not doing that <clears throat> just so I can show you guys the color change and to help you visualize this reaction. Um, and so now, something I should have said in the beginning was I started this whole thing by putting my bottle of bleach into the fridge. And so now, I have another video on how to purify chlorine. And so, if you watch that video, that will show you how to basically freeze the water out of the bleach. Because the bleach won't freeze, but the water will. And so then you can get a lot 
more concentrated bleach, but you'll have to you know what your ratios are to mix your more bleach to MEK solution or acetone or whatever. And so now, I digress. So now, the end result of this process is one of two. And so, um, depending on if you use MEK or acetone. And if you use MEK, you get propionic acid. And if you use ME, or if you use acetone, then you get acetic acid. And so both of them are heavy, heavily diluted with the water that's going to be left in here. And so you have to do another process to concentrate those two. But both of them are very worth having if you're any kind of organic chemist. Uh, especially because like you just can't buy propionic acid here in the United States. As far as I know, anyways. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, so, it's only been about 30 seconds since I paused or whatever. Um, so I'm going to put in a little bit more MEK. And that looks like that may do it. This bleach wasn't very yellow from the get-go, um, which just says that it's a fairly dilute batch. I mean, the more yellow it is, the higher concentrate you have for chlorine. doesn't really feel warm, but the reaction, like once it takes off, that's when it starts generating a lot of heat. Until it takes off, it basically doesn't generate any heat. Which, I mean, go figure that, right? No heat till the reaction, till it reacts. <laughs> Yeah, you can see there it's gone, it's getting pretty white. And so now, whenever it um, turns white or clear and then starts gaining its color back, the color is actually from. Um, um, oh, God dang it. It's from byproducts being put off, basically. I'm having a brain fart on the exact word I'm looking for. Nerd Rage has a good video on this, and so does Nile Red. Or Nile Blue, depending on... Talking old or new for him. <laughs> yeah, definitely got our color change going on there. All right, so I'm gonna turn the stirring off and then I'll be back in a couple hours.
Yeah, it's gone like a sheet of paper right now. All right, well, I'll be right back. Right as I paused, the color change happened. And that was exactly what I wanted to catch, dang it. But you can see how it's gone, gone its color now. To where now, this is going to start getting pretty warm. Yeah, I, I mean, I can feel it through the ice water. And so, uh, anyways, now I can pretty much stir, turn the stirring off and just keep this outer water cool for until it cools down. And, uh... Yeah, and so I'm going to do that, and then when I, that gets done, I'll be back. Alright, so let's see here. Pull this up. <laughs> yeah, you can see the liquid there in the bottom. And that's my chloroform. And so now I'm going to decant off the top liquid, get down to that bottom couple hundred mls and I'm going to put that into a, a separating funnel and so I'll do that and I'll be right back all right and so that's what we got for a yield right there um, off the top of my head I would guess around like 50 to 75 milliliters probably closer to 50 um, and but I haven't let it fully settle out either this is maybe a half hour into after the color change so not very long and so tomorrow uh, I'll re-filter all this out again to see how much more has settled out of solution but for an impatient person you can get that that quickly after and so anyways guys that's how you make chloroform and um, and then here's the, my, also my propionic acid which in another video I will show how to get that out of there and purify it too so till next time guys have a good one